Well, good morning and hello from the Honig Trail Apiary. Today we're going to do an unboxing and show you a brand new product we just got. And uh, we're going to be giving it our honest, complete review. But we just got a new type of bee smoker. So we're going to go ahead and unbox this here. This is the new Apisolus bee smoker or bee vapor. This has only been on the market for about a year and I'm doing one of the first reviews of this new smoker here in the US. So we're going to go ahead and open this and see what all's in here. Okay so we're going to open this up show you what all comes with this uh, new Apisola smoker. Okay so now, one of the first things here, we have the owner's manual, and this is written in French, English, Spanish, German, and Italian. And uh, I'll turn to the English section here. So, um, it looks like it's very complete. Shows you step by step how to set up your smoker and how to use it. So this smoker uses vapor. There's no um, fire or smoke involved with this smoker. This smoker basically works on the same principles as like a e an electronic cigarette. Okay, so we have a registration here. So you can register your product. We have a thank you from the company, from Apisolus, and they're located in France. This is where the unit is manufactured. And we have some native natural uh, liquid to put in this, and that will create help create the vapor. And I'm just going to read this here. Composition. In other words, the makeup of the liquid in here is propylene glycol of plant origin, eco -cert certified active ingredients present in essential oils. And uh, you get a nice little bottle of this. It's 120 milliliters in this bottle. It's quite, quite a bit. So we have that. We have this. Let's see what's in here. Okay, so in here we have... Uh, this is the little heating element that goes on the smoker. They give you five of these. one at a time. I think these are supposed to last quite a while. So we have that. And then the main unit here. This is where you're going to see some of the similarities here. We have a USB to micro USB cord. This is to, to charge the smoking unit. So you have to have it charged up and you can plug this into uh, your computer or any type of a USB uh, outlet to and then plug it into the unit. Uh, this is the tank it comes with. This is where you put your liquid. We're going to show that in more detail later. We have a little rubber stopper here that I believe this goes on here once you get the liquid and everything in here. Now the main part of this, this is the part you're going to see that looks familiar. So everything plugs into here, and I'm going to take these little clips off of here. Now you can see the main part of it, the bellows. This is the only thing that looks really familiar compared to the traditional bee smoker. It has bellows. Once you get everything else in here, slides in like this, 
And once you get it in here and all set up, and you pump the bellows, and we're going to show that in more detail later, but the smoke, or the vapor, which looks like smoke, will come out here every time you pump the bellows. Now the charging port is under here. That's where you plug in your micro USB part of your cable. And I actually charged this up last night and it took, uh, from right out of the box, it took about an hour and a half to fully charge this unit. It doesn't take very long to get this thing charged up. And we'll show this later too, but there is a light on here. We're going to show that now. So uh, when you, like if it was, if the battery inside of here was completely, pretty much almost discharged, although they tell you not to fully discharge it, it's, it's kind of a red color and then it flashes as it's charging and it, and it goes to an amber color. And then finally, when it's getting really close to being fully charged, it'll be a flashing green. Finally, it'll turn to a solid green, meaning it's fully charged and ready to go. One thing I like about this that you can take uh, a charging block out to your bee yard. So you can, if you need to recharge this, you can plug it in right there in your bee yard. Uh, you don't need a cord or anything, and um, you can charge it right up. But this is what came in the box. This is a, pretty much the entire unit. And we're going to put it together um, here to show you just how you do it, do it. All right, we're going to show you how to put the unit together here, the Apisola Smoker Unit. One of the first things you need to do is get... Uh, one of these resistance fittings, resistance is what they call it, get it primed. And what that is going to involve is uh, putting a few drops of the oil here on here to get the unit primed. There's a couple little uh, points here and here. And we're going to put a couple of drops of oil in here and let it sit for a few minutes. So we'll do that right now. We have our resistance fitting here and we're just going to take some of the essential oil, put a few drops in here And it just says to let it sit for about uh, three or four minutes. Now we're going to put our essential oils here in the tank. Okay, so we have our tank here. And we're going to fill it up, up to uh, where it says to fill it to. This is our essential oil liquid. It says to fill it up to the top of these little internal nubs here so we're going to do that it's filling up pretty quickly okay right there you can see the level here so that's the level we want it to be at and it really didn't take a whole lot of the fluid to do that I say this bottle is still maybe 90 percent full Okay, so we're going to set this aside over here, and then we're going to take our piece here, which we have let soak for a while, and we're going to put it in the little rubber stopper here. So this uh, is going to go in this little silicone piece here, and you simply just press it in here nice and firm and tight. Okay, so there we go on that. Now we're going to put this in our tank, which will be the reservoir for the essential oil. Okay, so we have this ready to go. And uh, pay attention to the curvature here on the tank and the little curvature here on this little rubber stopper. And uh, so we're going to put it in 
you see the little curvature here and the curvature here of the tank. That's the way it's going to fit in here. And it's just a matter of pushing this down into the reservoir or tank, which contains our essential oil and everything. Okay, so now we've got this all ready to go. Now we're going to show you how to put it into the Episolus unit itself. And just a reminder, all of the instructions on how to do this in detail are right in the little owner's manual here. So we've got our Episolus main part of the unit. And the little spout here, this has to go down to the bottom. So hopefully you can see this here and it goes in like so. You press it down till it clicks, or as far as it'll go in. Okay, so now this is charged and ready. Now we're also going to remove these little clips holding the bells together, and I suggest that you hang on to those. Okay, so our unit here is all ready to go. It's charged up. Now there's no switch or any buttons or anything like that to get this to start working. What we do, and hopefully you'll be able to hear this, you'll kind of slowly press the uh, bellows three times and then you should hear I believe it's like three or four like beeps which means it's ready so let's see if this will work but as you can see Vapor coming out. Quite a bit of vapor. I think the trick is to not press it really fast, but kind of slowly working the bellows you'll get a lot more vapor coming out. So you should be able to see there's a fair amount of vapor coming out. After 20 minutes of inactivity, this Apisolus device switches off automatically to help save your battery. So that's kind of a good feature. And then when it's closed for about two seconds with the spout upward, like you see here, uh, the little light here, the LED, uh, will show you the charge level. Okay, so we have our Apisolus unit here and the a regular B smoker, which obviously is going. There's our Apisolus unit working. So, again with the traditional smoker you see here, it's combustible, this part's hot, the smoke coming out can be hot, you got to let it kind of cool down, but you start breathing in some of the smoke from a traditional uh, bee smoker, you're going to start coughing and wheezing and your eyes will get watery and I'm sure it's not very healthful to be breathing this all the time. Um, and I'm, I'm sure the bees don't like it either because that odor and they, they breathe that in as you're using a smoker on the bees. And uh, so anyway, that's a traditional smoker. I, I'm not going to put my face in there. Now this is it's slightly, it's slightly well. It is warmer than the Apisolus unit here, and um, uh, I don't want to be standing in front of it because, yeah, I'll start coughing and choking and wheezing. So, and again, it's not the safest thing to be inhaling all the time. So, but with the and again. There's a danger of fire with this, with this, uh, um, so.
So, you got to be really careful with your smoker. And in some cases, maybe, where you may have in your bee yards, if it's on a forest or some kind of public land or something like that, uh, where it's really hot and dry, extreme fire danger, you could end up not being able to use a regular smoker because there's a there's a ban because of fire danger so you couldn't light your smoker and you got to be careful because the last thing you want to do is start a fire with your bee smoker however with the acrylic in it here there's no fire there's no burning embers in here anyway it's just the little heating coil is heating up the uh, liquid into a vapor and it's not hot at all you can barely feel a little bit of warmth to it as you can see I'm just kind of blowing this in on my hand and as you can see the vapor or smoke if you want to call it that from this unit just blowing in right into my face. Let me do that here. Okay, so I'm not um, choking or coughing. As you can see, it's, it's going right into my face. And it's great. There's nothing there. If it's an area where if you're on a national forest or something like that, or you have a bee yard, maybe there's a lot of tall grass, and there is a big danger of starting an accidental starting of a fire with your traditional bee smoker, then this would be great to use that because there's no chance of a fire. And after 20 minutes of inactivity, as it says in the manual, um, this thing shuts down automatically. We, we turn it up like this, we keep it closed for three seconds. Okay, now it's off. You can store it in an upright condition like that, but... So we're going to go out and try this on the bees next. Alright, we're just going to use some of vapor on our hands. That's to help mask any... Uh, human scent on here. And we'll pull out one of these outside frames here first. And give us a little bit more room to work in here with the bees. So we got some honey, a little bit of nectar. I see some eggs down in here. So as usual, just like smoke, the bees start making a little bit more of a hum. But it does drive them away. And here's our queen. There she is. There she is right there. Again, she's a very dark, I kind of call her my Nubian queen. She's very dark. And she's a this year's queen. A Saskatras queen. But because we're in a honey dearth right now, not a lot of blooming right now. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and put this colony back together. So it, it looks to me like the vapor from the Apostolic smoker is not really upsetting here to the point where she runs around a lot. So that's all good. So again, some queens and the bees, when you're using a regular smoker, they do run around sometimes a lot, especially the queens. And it makes it that much more difficult to spot the queen if she's running all over the place. 
Okay, I think we're gonna move on over to another hive right over here. All right, we'll give these girls a little puff of vapor here in the entrance. Okay, we've got a few bees up here. Take this inner cover off. And this is a uh, flow hive and this is the flow honey super which is pretty much empty, I believe. Now I'll take a couple, quick look at it. Brood box. Set this aside. Okay, so lots of bees here on this frame. Pretty much solid honey. We're going to give them a little bit of vapor here. And they are moving out of the way, as you can probably see. So the vapor does just the same as a regular smoke from a smoker. I'm, I'm sure it's calming them down. But they're not really getting really upset but they are moving away from it so that's what I want to see okay so we're gonna go ahead and put this hive back together here you see uh, some good activity down here in the bottom box I'm just gonna take another quick look for the queen let me see if I can get some video down inside the box there. Okay, so give the bees there on the bottom a little bit of the vapor. able to hear the little bit louder hum and the bees are moving away okay we're gonna go ahead and button up this hive mm -hmm. but I think as you've been able to tell the smoker or the vape here the apisolus vape puts out enough vapor that it has the desired effect of moving bees but not unduly upsetting them. Just having a quick look for the queen. We harvested from here a couple of weeks ago. You see the bees are putting a little bit of nectar in here. Not much though. Let's see what's going on. Now we got some nectar coming in here. If you can probably see here, this has all nectar here. We've got actually some of it sealed, or they're in the process of sealing the nectar. So, I'm guessing there might be a minor little nectar flow on, not much. But the bees are bringing in something, which is always good. 
I think what the key is right now is we need more rain. We'll just pull up this last one to see what's going on. Yeah, we got some more nectar in here. No eggs or larva that I can see. So I don't think the queen has come all the way up here. Okay. Got this hive all buttoned up. Okay, we wanted to give you some impressions and thoughts after trying out and using this Apisolus uh, bee smoker. I really like it. Um, all the things that we brought up in the beginning part of this review, everything from you can get this thing started up and working in less than a minute. Um, you don't have to breathe the obnoxious fumes that, that you do from a traditional bee smoker. Puts out plenty of vapor. You don't have to cough or choke on the vapor from this. It actually smells pleasant. And uh, as you saw, I was trying it out on the bees. And it seems to have all the effects that you want from a smoker on the bees. Everything from calming them down to moving them out of the way. Uh, everything I mentioned previously, it seems to work perfectly. I recommend this and I, I, I like it a lot. I'm probably going to be using this most of the time with my bees. There. So that's my impressions about this Apisola Bee Smoker. And I do recommend it. And thanks for watching.